We're in the lab at AccuStream and we just got done cutting some cork on the water jet brick. What we wanted to do is give folks a brief overview as to what the bricks are, how to use them, and some tips and techniques as to how to make them last. There are many different applications for the bricks, but what we did here today is we were cutting some simple cork, just a little gasket, nothing fancy. It's actually a, a prototype that we were doing for a customer. And what we did is we had to lay the cork out uh, for a day to get it to flatten. And one of the reasons we chose to use the brick for this particular application is the brick uh, helped fixtures. You'll see here in a minute we put some screws that were able to hold the brick as flat as we possibly could. So fixturing was a breeze. The other thing is um, with the particular cork, we wanted to reduce the spray back in the amount of water that the cork would absorb. Uh, in this application, the brick was wonderful, uh, as you can see. And what we'll do here in a second is we'll undo and we'll show you how easy it is um, to take the parts out. And the other nice thing is, as you can see, there was no tabs that we had to do on the part uh, because the bricks uh, held the parts in place, so part retention was 100%. All right, that was easy. We got all of our uh, screws out. They all came out quickly and easily. Now what we're going to do is take out a few parts. Uh, as you can see, we already took a few off, but it's as simple as uh, taking the piece up, popping the parts out. And uh, one of the benefits of the bricks, as you can see, is we didn't have to leave any tabs. The part is good, uh, as you see it here. Uh, we chose the brick for the cork because it really, the brick minimizes spray back. And with cork and other uh, materials that absorb water, the brick is an ideal uh, application because it minimizes spray back. All the water is quickly and easily drained away with the brick. As you can see, we've taken our sheet off uh, the bricks. And what's really nice about a water only application with the brick is everybody asks, how long does the brick last? And of course, like everything in water jet, uh, brick life is a function of what you're cutting, how fast you're moving, um, and so in this application with water, the nice thing is you can see we, we, we've only done one pass, so it's not like we've cut a lot of different jobs, but because of the water only and not the abrasive, you can barely even see where we ran this part. And that's the beautiful thing about brick with water only, is we're going to be able to run job after job, uh, water only, on the brick with minimal wear and tear on the brick, which makes it such a wonderful, ideal surface for water only cutting. Let's talk about what the bricks are made from. Uh, the bricks are made from a high density polyethylene plastic. Uh, standard industry brick is four inches tall, six inches wide, 48 inches long. Uh, the bricks have a special flute pattern. They're actually made from an extruded plastic. And what you get is an S pattern that actually connects two sheets of plastic. That unique design allows them to still have a flute pattern, which allows the water and all the debris to be uh, sent through the flutes, while still having an interconnecting pattern, which really gives the brick its durability. All right, let's talk about how to use the bricks and how to get them inside the table to make a bed. As you can see, we've already laid some of the bricks out. The best way to do this is to look at your slats, and most tables have slats, and you want to go perpendicular 90 degrees to the slats to give the bricks the most strength. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the brick and slide it in. You can push them tight. And what you'll notice is the bricks are actually perfectly planed flat to a given height. And what that's going to provide you is a perfectly smooth surface, perfectly flat, which is really important for cutting glass and brittle materials. That way you don't get any pressure points when you're trying to pierce the brittle materials. All right, here we are. Uh, we're going to cut another material on the bricks. Um, as a general rule of thumb, uh, here's a rubber piece, a gasket. Anything that really can fold on itself is another great application for the brick. As you can see, when we lay it down, it's perfectly flat. Um, provides great support for the part that's going to need to be cut. 
and then also to ensure that it stays stable again while we're cutting this one doesn't need as many screws I'm just going to throw a couple screws in each corner to make sure the material stays flat We just got done cutting some rubber gaskets. We're going to uh, undo the screws, get them off the table, and get them to inspection. And uh, the goal is to see how easy they come off the table. As you can see, as we pull that off, our parts are retained. They sit right on the table. It makes it really easy to. Uh, Get them off the table and the part retention is quick and easy. A lot of times the guys like them because of how easy they are to work with.